Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark and I'm looking outside a hotel room here in Federal Way which is just an extension of Seattle evidently. It's like Los Angeles, 20 miles of non-stop housing and strip malls and whatever else while the earth above us is moving on very rapidly. Look at how quickly those clouds are moving. And beneath this, we've done nothing but bury it with concrete, allowing little tiny strips of green to be around. Enough trees to make us feel like we haven't destroyed the planet, which we have done. And I am uh, posting this video because I am just completely blown away. You know, I, I think I've gotten 48 views on my uh, thing about the 90% rule, which nobody wants to talk about the 90% rule. No one wants to discuss the fact that we have all been fucking brainwashed to just accept cancer and accept destroying our food supply with plutonium. We're not just talking about coal ash or shit that goes away after, you know, 30, 40, 50 years. We're talking half-lives of 300,000 years. Seriously, 300,000 years. At a minimum, like, what is it, 35,000? Like, the cesium 137, 134, they have two and a half life. When you break it down, it's like 150 fucking years. I mean, what is wrong with our culture? I mean, are humans just intent outside, if they don't live in an agricare, you know, in a in an agricultural environment or where they're not scraping for food, once they get comfortable, they get suicidal? Is that the deal? I don't know. I've been suicidal. I wasn't comfortable, that's for fucking sure. But look at this. Wow. This is where I think Manny Skywatch is right, man. Those fuckers have got to be up there looking at us. Because the shit that's going down on our little earth doesn't make fucking sense. Except for that there's some big unknown that we don't know about. Anyways, I posted the 90% rule. I found stories about our military selling out to TEPCO. Yesterday we heard in TEPCO, TEPCO's not going, just like the Price-Anderson Act, nobody gets, nobody's held accountable for the corporate crimes. Just like Wall Street, nobody's held accountable. This is Pottersville, you guys, and if you have not seen that movie, It's a Wonderful Life, you need to watch it, and you need to re-watch it, and you need to look on the desk of Mr. Potter. On his desk, there's actually a skull on his desk as a, as a paperweight. If that doesn't tell you exactly who these motherfuckers are that are destroying our planet and destroying our culture and have destroyed our democracy, and no, we don't have a democracy here. We have fucking fascism. And you try. Just make an effort to stand up to these people. I mean, look at these clouds up there. Wow. They are moving super fast. Wow. You know, all of our bitching, all of our trying to be nice. I mean, people go, Kevin has a bad attitude and his message is too harsh. It chases people away. Fuck that. Everything chases people away. People are not going to look. And then, just, it's bullshit. I mean, I bought myself for Christmas a little, uh, 80, it was from, written in the 80s, a little anti-nuke handbook, and it was bought in a little thrift store, and it's like, Kevin's right, those motherfuckers failed us. If they had succeeded, we wouldn't have nuclear power plants. Just not opening up a nuclear power plant is not a success, dumbasses. We need to shut the fucking nuclear power industry down and stop the goddamn war machine, because that's what's killing us. And for those people that say, well, Kevin's message is too harsh, fuck you. Do you know what? Really? Kevin's message is too harsh while your fucking kids are getting cancer? Everybody you know has cancer or diabetes or has, you know, can't gain weight or can't stop gaining weight or some kind of bullshit? Our system is fucked up, you guys, and people are worried because Kevin's cussing? That's such stupid, idiotic bullshit. That's exactly, that's called mission accomplished. That's called focusing on the wrong fucking thing. You know, I listened to, I did, I didn't actually listen to, I participated in a tapping video this morning by Brad Yates, who's a really good guy. You guys should definitely check him out. But he had something about 
getting the results you want. I did this, I'm working on a really hard case, and so I'm doing some tapping over it. And one of the things he talked about is people who are successful do the things that nobody wants to do. And that's exactly right. If we want to succeed in stopping this nuclear industry and stopping the fucking war machine, which is the nuclear industry, we have to do things that nobody wants to do, which is step out of the box, start challenging people on their decision to not pay attention and to accept cancer and challenge people to actually get involved. Nobody wants to get involved. Well, too fucking bad. Do you think I wanted to get involved? Do you think Kevin wanted to get involved right when he got AML leukemia? That's such fucking bullshit, you guys. We all have to step up to the plate and get out and do what you can. So, well, spare me the comments about the cussing and it might turn people away and messages to, you know, Kevin, you, know, you can honestly talk to Kevin. That This is a thing. Kevin and I had disagreements about Helen Caldicott, and I think I swayed his mind about her, the fact that she just, she's not a softball, but, you know, she has been minimalized by the entire industry because Helen Caldicott is a fucking powerhouse. Do so you think they want to give her any authority by saying how great she is? Hell no. A, she's a woman. B, she's anti-nuclear. So, you know, and so now we've got what, Kevin, people are out there saying, oh, Kevin cusses. That's probably the fucking nuclear industry posting those comments. The bottom line is, you guys, we have to move ahead and we have to do it with firm resolve and we cannot just stop. And those fuckers up there in the sky, whoever they fucking are, fuck them. They are not our lords and masters, so they can just go fuck themselves. So anyways, I'm going to end here and... Uh, I guess this is a happy new year video to get off your asses and let's have a new happier year. Ciao.